Okay, so today I'm gonna to go weigh my 2020 Triglide. It says it should weigh 1,204 pounds uh, dry and with fluids in it with 90% of gas in the tank, it should weigh right around 1,243 pounds. And I got a whole bunch of accessories on it, so I'm kind of curious to see how much it weighs uh, with my accessories on it. And then I'm gonna weigh the front axle first. Uh, and that's uh, so much weight is on the front axle. Then I'm gonna weigh the entire bike. Then I'm going to weigh the rear axle and see how much weight's on that rear axle back there. And I'm gonna go to the local landscaping uh, outfit. They got real nice scales over there. You can see them real clearly from a distance. And then I'm just gonna bring it back home and just tell you guys. So here I am on my way up to the landscaping company. It's about four miles from my house. Takes me about 10 or 12 minutes to get there. It's 42 degrees out and it got, it was raining the last couple nights so the lot was pretty muddy. They even laid some gravel down to help you get across the, the muddy lot here. So my bike uh, is supposed to weigh dry at uh, 1,204 pounds and uh, with all the fluids in it, with 90% gas, it's supposed to weigh 1,243 pounds. I roughly estimated the weight of all the accessories I put on my bike and I did the math and it came out to about 60 pounds. So if you add the 1,243 pounds of wet weight plus the 60 pounds of accessories weight, so it comes out to about 1,303 pounds, and this is kind of the area I was expecting the weight of the whole bike to be. Okay, so I want to stop right here and inject some knowledge that you might not know. I worked for the railroad for 41 years. Uh, 25 of those years was as a through freight conductor, and 16 years was as a switchman in the yard. Well, the first five years of my career, we had to weigh uh, box cars at the at the scale. So we'd have to go down in the yard, grab a string of cars, and take it out to the scales and weigh them. Well, the scales were only 60 feet long. I'm trying to illustrate here the, the scales here by this blue tape and that blue tape. And, the, and this car is 60 feet long. So a 60-foot car would just barely fit on the scales. So uh, what we do is we go out there and uh, weigh those cars, but all of a sudden they started giving us these uh, 80 foot long uh, flat cars and they, uh, they wouldn't fit on the scale anymore, as you can see. So what we had to end up doing was we had to disconnect uh, the, the 80 foot long car and just weigh one set of trucks and the clerk would note the weight of the one set of trucks. Then we'd push the car back together and then we push uh, the other set of trucks onto the scale and then we take the engine and get off the scale. And the clerk would add up this uh, scale uh, truck weight and that scale truck weight and that would give us uh, the total weight of the car. Now that's exactly what I'm gonna do with my motorcycle. I'm gonna take it out to the scales and I'm gonna push the front axle, front wheel over onto the scale with the back wheels off the scales and uh, weigh the front axle to see what it weighs. And then I'm gonna pull the whole motorcycle onto the uh, scales and I'll weigh the whole motorcycle. And then when I'm done, I will push the front axle off the scales and just weigh the rear axle. And that should give me pretty close to the total weight of the whole motorcycle. There's their office building dead ahead there with the glass front there. And so my goal here was to pull the motorcycle up uh, and just put the front wheel onto the scales and leave the rear wheels off the scales. So with the axle slash wheel on the scale by itself with me sitting in the seat, the weight came in at 440 pounds, which is a whole lot of weight for your front axle and your front tire. It's no wonder that Harley-Davidson makes their own special branded Harley Davidson tire with beefed up sidewalls to to carry all this weight. If you went and bought a regular tire with the same uh, dimensions as the one that's on there, uh, they don't come with that extra beefed up uh, uh, sidewall like that to take all that weight. So then I stepped off the motorcycle and away from uh, the scales and it came in at 380 pounds of weight on the axle and the tire. I weigh 100 and, about 185 pounds. 
So then I moved the entire motorcycle to the center of the uh, scale. Uh, both front and rear axles are on the scales. And uh, it all weighed in at about uh, 1,500 pounds. Just from experience, uh, I know that this scale reads in 20 pound increments. For example, if uh, you weigh in at uh, 49 pounds, it'll say 40 pounds. And if you weigh in at 51 pounds, it'll say 60 pounds. So whichever side is uh, less or greater, it'll go to that number. So then I stepped off the bike and off the scales and the number came in at 1,300 pounds. So if you remember, with all the added accessories, weight, I figured the weight to come in right around 1,303 pounds. So this number was pretty close at 1,300 pounds, uh, give or take 20 pounds either side. So I moved the motorcycle ahead and made sure the front wheel was uh, off the scales and that the only thing on the scales was the rear tire. And that weight came in at 1,040 pounds. And remember, I'm sitting uh, in the saddle right now. And then I got off uh, the bike and off the scales and the reading came in at 900 pounds. And I'm thinking that's a lot of weight for the rear axle for that bike. Uh, so yeah, 900 pounds is incredible. Okay, so now I'm home from weighing uh, the motorcycle at the landscaping place. Now I wanna go in the garage and take off uh, each tire and just weigh them. Okay, this is the triglide. I'm gonna take the wheels off and weigh them. Just out of curiosity. I wanna know how much each wheel and tire ways all right first thing i'm gonna do is jack it up okay got the right jack in spot and we've got the left jack in spot now we're just going to jack them up Okay, so I got the wheel off right there, and we're gonna use this bathroom scale to uh, don zero. Now we're just gonna check it out here. Okay, it's on the scale. Let's just go check it out. It is reading, uh-oh, 20, 30, 35 pounds. That's how much this tire weighs. Okay, let's go weigh it. Let's go over here and weigh it. about 36 pounds. Okay, good deal. Okay. Thirty-six pounds. Okay, so that about does it. Uh, the total bike weighed 1,300 pounds with me off the motorcycle. And with me off the motorcycle, the front axle weighed in at uh, 380 pounds. And with me off the bike, the rear axle weighed in at 900 pounds. So if you add these two together, you come up with 1,280 pounds. 
this number here should have actually been 1300 pounds but I think the figures are right because the scales only go in 20 uh, pound increments so I think this is a, a good figure right here all right and with me uh, with me on the motorcycle the bike weighed up at uh, 1500 pounds the weight on the front axle with me on it was 440 pounds uh, the weight on the rear axle with me on it was 1040 pounds so you add these two together and it comes out to uh, Oh, uh, 1,480 pounds, which it should have came out to 1,500 pounds, but again, I think it's just a discrepancy in the scales where they only go in 20 pound increments, so I think this figure is a good figure. Okay, so uh, I weigh 185 pounds, and uh, with uh, me on the bike, the front axle weighed 440 pounds. Without me on the bike, weighed 380, so it added 60 pounds pounds to the front axle weight. Uh, again, the rear axle weighed 1040, 1040 pounds with me on it, and then 900 pounds with me off of it. And so that was added weight of 140 pounds on the rear axle. So 60 and 40 comes up to 200 pounds, and I only weigh 185, so there's a 200 minus 185 comes up to a 15 pound uh, discrepancy. And again, I just think it was uh, the scales weighing in 20 pound increments. Okay, so that concludes the weighing of the 2020 Tri-Glide.